Pope Francis has written a letter addressed to every person on this planet, urging us all to protect the Earth, our common home. In the letter, he says, The Earth is God's gift to us, full of beauty and wonder, where the fruits of the Earth belong to everyone. But what we see today is that our common home has never been so hurt and mistreated as it has been in the last 200 years. We have developed at a greater speed than we could ever have imagined. We have treated the Earth like it has an unlimited supply of resources, taking more than our fair share from most people on the planet, as well as future generations to come. We have stripped the Earth of its natural forests, contaminated the Earth's waters, its land and its air. Plants and species are becoming extinct at an alarming rate. The Earth, our home, is beginning to look more and more like an immense pile of filth. Our increasing use of polluting fossil fuels, especially coal, oil and gas, is helping to drive climate change, which is one of the biggest challenges we face today. Climate change affects us all, but it is the poorest communities who suffer the most. We are now at crisis point, where the future of our common home is under threat. And despite this crisis, there seems to be no slowdown in the lifestyles of the rich nations. Enormous gaps between the rich and the poor continue to rise. Between those who are trapped in poverty with few or no resources, and those who are consuming and wasting at an ever-increasing rate, leaving a trail of waste and destruction. Our digital world is also polluting us with noise and distractions, stopping us from learning how to live wisely, to think deeply and to love generously. Real relationships are replaced with virtual friendships, which we can choose to accept or reject, making us dissatisfied with true, deep relationships, or can give rise to a new sense of isolation. Yet, despite all of this, all is not lost. Young people demand change. Young people want to build a better future, which takes seriously the environmental crisis and the sufferings of the poor. So we can change. We can make a new start. To protect our common home, we need a common plan. The whole human family needs to work together so that we may sow beauty, not pollution and destruction. Our use of polluting fossil fuels also needs to be replaced without delay. And we need to stop treating the world's resources as an object for profit, with no thought on how our actions might affect the environment or future generations. So let's put love for the world and love for our neighbour into action, by living together in harmony, listening to one another, caring for nature, and getting involved with society and politics. Let's undergo an eco-conversion in which we listen to the cry of the earth and the cry of the poor. This means taking seriously things like avoiding the use of plastic and paper, reducing water waste, separating rubbish, and using public transport as a part of our calling to protect creation. But more urgently, we need to slow down on how much we consume and throw away. We can find great joy and freedom in living simply, rather than always on the lookout for what we do not have. We are capable of these changes and making a new start. So let us make that start today. Signed, Pope Francis. Laudato Si, a letter from Pope Francis on care for our common home. Pope Francis tells us that a Christian who doesn't safeguard creation, who doesn't make it flourish, is a Christian who isn't concerned with God's work, that work born of God's love for us. In the Diocese of San Diego, we're developing a network of creation care teams, 
and we invite you to join us in this effort. Through this ministry, we will show our love for God by caring for the magnificent gift of creation He has given to all humanity. Take a moment now to be inspired by friends at St. James Parish and Academy in Solana Beach. They're doing a great job of caring for God's creation. People always want to know, what is the school going to get out of this, or how is this going to help my parish? These are great questions. In addition to putting our faith into action, there are many practical benefits of taking care of God's creation, including cost savings, community building, improved health and wellness, and increased awareness about the Earth's resources. Here at St. James Parish and School, we are working on a number of projects and we'd love to share them with you. Here are some of our facility cost savings. We converted our prayer garden from traditional landscaping to a low water use and low maintenance garden. We've also benefited from landscape design services and artistic design gifts contributed by our parishioners. Parishioners donated their resources and talents and then organized a planting party. They created this spiritual sanctuary and really a work of art that also saves water and money. One of our awesome school parents volunteered to spearhead the installation of LED lighting throughout the school. And we had dozens of school families volunteer their time over a couple of weekends to help with the installation. By moving to clean energy, we are reducing the use of fossil fuels and caring for God's creation. In caring for God's creation, we also need to care for ourselves. Here are some of the health and wellness benefits of our creation care team. We have refurbished our garden into an organic, edible, and educational garden. We plan to expand our garden by creating a handicapped, accessible outdoor classroom. Our students, parents, and staff have already enjoyed organic soups, salads, and smoothies made from our garden harvest and we encourage our community to participate in outdoor activities like our annual beach cleanup. There are many ways to encourage education about caring for God's creation. Of course at St. James we recycle, but we are also becoming free of one-time use plastics. We're replacing items like single-use water bottles, plastic bags, utensils and straws with sustainable alternatives. We also invite our faith community to sign a pledge to refuse, reduce, reuse, and as a last resort, at least recycle single-use plastics. Another great educational project that we've started at St. James Academy is the creation of certified wildlife habitat. Our students have studied the drastic decline of monarch butterfly populations and migrations in the past 20 years due to loss of habitat, milkweed, pesticide use, and other environmental stresses. In the words of Pope Francis, we must not be indifferent or resigned to the loss of biodiversity and the destruction of ecosystems. I am so proud to share that although St. James has only begun our creation care efforts, we recently applied for and were recognized by the state of California as a 2017 Green Ribbon School for reducing environmental impact, improving health and wellness, and including creation care education into our curriculum. We've only just begun, but our creation care efforts have been a wonderful, faith-filled, and community-building experience. As Pope Francis has also written, human beings are deeply connected with all of creation. When we mistreat nature, we also mistreat human beings. At the same time, each creature has its own intrinsic value that must be respected. Let us all hear both the cry of the earth and the cry of the poor and do our best to ensure an appropriate and timely response. St. James is just one parish with a vibrant school that has decided to take Pope Francis at his word and care deeply for creation. We invite you to do the same and become part of the Creation Care Team that is being formed at your parish. The Creation Care Team Diocesan Network is well underway. Join the network as we share and witness our love for God in a very special way.